one of the most important things that uh, that you have to be aware of if you are uh, uh, new to the guitar is what I would like to call uh, individual finger control. It's a really interesting thing is, is that um, when you start playing you kind of see your hand as a whole which of course it is but but um, in the context of playing guitar it's it's um, the things you do with your fingers is so unlike anything else and um, <clears throat> so when new guitar players or people start to pick up the guitar um, they you know they learn some chords um, and they and they kind of see um, those chords as one thing you do with the hand but uh, one thing I just noticed was that that when you're uh, playing a chord then what often happens is uh, for new guitar players is that maybe one note doesn't say anything doesn't play and there's different there's more than one reason for that um, uh, the most obvious that you would maybe pay attention to is do you press down hard enough is the finger close enough to the fret um, and also in case of this the D chord does the ring finger which is uh, positioned on the B string third fret does that also cover the the E string a little bit you know if it does you can press as hard as you want but you won't hear it if the uh, ring finger is covering the high E string so that would be so that would be kind of a, a repositioning of the finger but the other thing, uh, another thing I actually just want to address now that I, I come to think of it is um, it, it's come to my attention that uh, in these YouTube days when people start taking guitar lessons they've all been browsing YouTube and they hear all these, these um, all this information before they even started or even even have a lot of uh, experience themselves and that can sometimes be a problem um, I find that a lot of people put a lot of um, trust in the fact that this finger should be very close to the fret and I don't really I don't really agree with that and and what the reason that I find it a little uh, important to to address it here is is if you put a lot of you know attention to that and, and believe that you have to do that all the time you will be probably be pretty um, annoyed because that's very seldom that that's the problem because if you press down a note here and take it back and forth that amount of strength that you're using to get that note I keep that now and the only time it really is a problem if, is if I get to the complete opposite um, space in the fret here if it's here in, in this area I don't feel the, any difference so I just I think that this, don't put too much um, trust in that that is uh, is a something that you really must address and make sure that your fingers are very close to the fret because the truth is that that is seldom the problem this could be a problem and of course also uh, do you press hard enough um, one thing you could check also is how much force does it take to press down the string to reach the fret which is actually what needs to happen uh, uh, if
if you want any sound from the string. But let's get back to um, the thing that really this video is about. That is individual finger control, because um, let's just take this D chord as an example. Um, the thing is that if you check out how much strength it takes, again, to press down the string, first of all, you'll find that it doesn't take a lot. But the other thing is that when you're pressing down a chord, you kind of, especially at the beginning, you just kind of see it as a whole thing. You know, you don't really think about individual finger control and strength. So what happens is in many situations is that you use a lot of force in the whole hand so people get tired in their hands. Um, so instead of finding out kind of feeling, you, you know, you can obviously can't see this, but now I'm kind of feeling each individual, the index finger, the ring finger and the long finger, how much I need to press down to get this get this sound but in many cases I just a uh, new new guitar players they just they sh they they try to they're using a lot of force in the whole hand and they get tied in the whole hand and the thing is that in many situations they're maybe using a lot of force in the thumb and maybe in one of the fingers and then uh, they f believe that they're pressing down a lot but the truth is that um, that they maybe only be you're pressing down on on two thirds of the chord, so they feel why isn't this enough? I'm spending so much power on this, and the truth is that um, for you beginners out there, you can ease up a little bit in the strength of the thumb and the whole hand, and try to go back to focus a little bit on each finger that you're using. And <clears throat> so this is obviously for beginners, but you really also see this trouble happening when you're learning um, bar chords. So this, what I'm describing here, becomes very evident um, when learning um, bar chords. So in 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 um. In a example as this, you can see I'm using all four fingers. My index finger is is pretty slanted. It's not really, you know, on the low on the A string. It's very close to the fret, but on the high E string, it's it's almost closer to the previous fret. So. What you need to address here is in, in this situation is of course what's important here is the A string and the high E string because obviously the D, G and B string are pressed down by ring, little and index, uh, long finger. I'm not saying that <coughs> it's possible to, to play this chord and then just, oh yeah, it's possible. It sounds okay with without, but now I'm just experimenting experimenting with how little force I can use, how little power I can use, and as you can hear, the high E string is a little bit the trouble. Now it's okay, but I'm feeling <coughs> the little finger, how much is that pressing down? is the long finger, the ring finger, the index finger, and then again, <clears throat> especially when playing these bar chords, I sometimes tense up in the thumb. So what I'm experiencing with right now, and this is again something you can't really see, I'm trying to work with how little force can I how can I put into the thumb? And is there any way that I can use that power for good? In the index finger, for example, it makes 
making sure that my E string sounds better. And now I feel, now I feel the high, the index finger is is where the power is, is where my um, attention is, and then also on the ring, little and long finger, and not so much in the thumb. And now you can see my actually my index finger is very close, almost on the frets, but it sounds fine. So. <coughs> This video is just a little um, information to you to uh, to kind of um, reevaluate your um, chords, your um, uh, how you're playing your chords, and uh, so if you have some songs where you're really struggling with um, with getting them to sound good, uh, especially the the bar chords. Uh, you could you should try to go through them again and try to you know go feel each individual finger what you need to also understand is that a bar chord uh, is is um uses this hope you can see what i'm doing it uses this kind of fingering you know so you have one finger that just goes straight up in the air and then the remaining fingers come from out and in and that's not really, it's not that easy actually to do that. So, um, what you might want to make sure is that you don't get this hand. Um, what happens to a lot of new guitar players is that when they get their hands on the fretboard, they see it as, you know, as a baseball uh, bat or something like that. But the truth is that you need to have this kind of hand so you know my um, my next finger almost comes directly from down here and then the remaining fingers from out and in and it's the same with the just the more simple open chords the fingers here I can actually have this uh, what you could call a bad fingering or a bad hand uh, I don't know what you call it um, but but the main thing is that you make sure that your fingers come from out and goes in so if they come more from down here playing an open chord chances are that you'll dampen the strings uh, so in the case of the D for example the ring finger will dampen the index uh, the long finger so I hope that this video uh, can help you if you are a beginner um, make sure that you click the link under the video here because I got some free programs also that you can get and download <coughs> and uh, good luck with guitar playing <laughs>